The Zimbabwe Footballers Union is calling for the lifting of match-fixing bans imposed on some players and officials who were alleged to have thrown matches when the national football team was invited to a number of tournaments in Asia between 2008 and 2011. In criticising Zimbabwe's Football Association for failing to deal decisively with the matter, the Footballers' Union said it was taking the matter to court in order to bring an end to the matter. Among the players still banned are former Warriors captain Method Mojali, his former Warriors teammate Thomas Sueswe and former Dynamo captain Guthrie Zahini. Some of the banned players have gone for years without kicking a ball and the union says the saga must be brought to an end. We can now speak to the Secretary General of the Footballers Union of Zimbabwe, Paul Gundani. Paul, what is the major reason for the union's decision to take legal action against the Zimbabwe Football Association? Our major reason is that the matter which has been handled by the FA for the last four years hasn't been handled properly as per the uh, federal residence, uh, constitution. And also, after FIFA refused to endorse the worldwide bans, it has been uh, uh, discovered that uh, there are quite a number of irregularities in which the whole process was flawed. And also the suspended players by the uh, association are still unemployed as they cannot move from one team to another. How has the bans impacted on the players' careers, especially those who wanted to secure moves outside of Zimbabwe? But uh, they've had a negative impact on them in the sense that uh, whenever a footballer is implicated in match fixing, most teams would never want to associate with such a player as his image is tainted. And now it is the obligation of the player together with the union that they fight that this case be heard fairly. And uh, if the player is guilty, the position of the union is that uh, that player has to face the consequences uh, regarding that particular issue. Many African stars have made it big in the major leagues in Europe. Has this scandal changed the perception of African players by some European clubs? Yes, it's true. It has had a negative effect in the sense that uh, it will take time for clubs in Europe to come to Zimbabwe and take our players uh, seriously. That was as long as this matter is not concluded, properly following the laid down procedures and the players are cleared or the players are dealt with decisively, it will always remain hanging to everyone involved in football. If you win this case, isn't it going to trigger lawsuits against an already crippled Zimbabwe Football Association? Definitely. Our intention is not only to let the players go back and uh, continue with their uh, footballing careers, but we would also want them to receive compensation. That was most of them. They've lost the greater part of their playing footballing. And some of them have decided to retire. And even through in their retirement, they're unable to practice any coaching here in Zimbabwe. Paul Gondani, thank you for speaking to Sports News Africa.